sick of opening that door every other day and finding you boozed up, burned out, and ugly. Why do you come here like this? Where have I always come, Steve? At least I can be honest with you. Elizabeth Taylor earned her first of two Oscars as Best Actress in 1961 for that role in Butterfield 8, starring opposite Eddie Fisher. And joining me now is Eddie's daughter, Elizabeth's stepdaughter, author and actress Carrie Fisher. Carrie, thank you very much, first of all, for agreeing to do this interview. It must be a, a very sad day for you. Very sad, especially, uh, I mean, I, I lost my father this year. And uh, <clears throat> not that many months ago, and actually I... I called Elizabeth to tell her when he passed, and she cried. Did she really? Which I thought was incredibly sweet. I mean, she had really a, a, a sense of family, even a bizarre, you know, someone that she had been married to so long ago. And what, what kind of person was Elizabeth Taylor, away from the glare of the media coverage. What was the real Elizabeth like, do you think? Well, to me, she, she really, she, she really loved a good time. You know, uh, she, uh, I remember one time uh, she pushed me in the pool after establishing that I wouldn't pull her in afterwards. And she used to have uh, these egg hunts at her house for all the children, and she seemed to love doing stuff like that. And she, uh, she just, one night I went on, we went on a double date. It was uh, uh, Elizabeth and Michael Jackson and Shirley MacLaine and myself. Wow. And it was like, we, no one noticed Shirley and I. <laughs> uh, but it, she, Michael had given her that day. Michael gave her jewelry. Mm. And she, she loved presents, and he had given her these earrings and a necklace that night, and I remember how happy she was. Your uh, father and Elizabeth famously didn't speak for nearly 40 years until 2007, but your mother, Debbie Reynolds, said that she spoke to her just two weeks ago, and they had a very good conversation. No, yes, yeah, she... Well, yeah, I mean, my mother said, uh, you know, Elizabeth... It wasn't feeling that well, and, and, and I think like Carol said, she just, you know, she, she was someone who really enjoyed having a vital life. And, uh, you know, to be sort of bedridden like that, I don't, <laughs> I think she'd rather be in bed another way. <laughs> so she wasn't, you know, she wasn't enjoying herself. And for you, Carrie, what was it like growing up in the glare of such overwhelming publicity and kind of these huge stars around you all the time. It couldn't have been normal. Well, I have no idea what, but it was my normal. Mm. You know, I had nothing really, nothing to compare it to. Uh, but, you know, she, uh, she was a very, I mean, ultimately, I became friends with her and, uh, you know, I, I, I liked it, the, the celebrities of that time, I mean, like they, like, People were saying the paparazzi, they would literally live in the yard. I mean, the scandal of my father uh, leaving my mother for Elizabeth. And I would spend, over the years, I, I'd go, I once was having a cooking lesson, and the woman said to me, I hate your father. I, I you know, he, he left her for that woman. It, people carried that scandal with them forever, and they would talk to me about it in the abstract, in a way. And what did you think that your father uh, ended up thinking about Elizabeth? I know what he thought. He loved her. I mean, my father said, I was talking to him one of the last times I saw him, and he said she, she was the source. That's what he said, that she was just this, I got the, it was this tremendous source of vitality, of just embracing life. She certainly was. Carrie, we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, I want to talk to you some more about your stepmother, Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> 